Hi, it's Rob McKillop here. We're looking at Play the Ukulele in Fifth Tuning, my book from Mel Bay. Uh, you can download it from their website or as an ebook or buy it a hard copy from them or from other uh, good music shops. Um, we're going to look at page 24. Uh, this is a piece actually for cello, but you wouldn't believe it. It fits the ukulele so well and it sounds like a, a good ukulele piece. And uh, so I'm going to claim it as that. And uh, had Dupor had a ukulele, you never know. But here it is, very beautiful. I'm using thumb index in middle, then index again. Okay, technically it's just a bunch of block chords that you can practice. And so on, go through the whole piece just playing those block chords. Um, and technically in bar 8 suddenly we get two notes in the bass, a, a dyad. You've heard of triads, it's a three note chord might not have heard of dyads, maybe you have. Um, there are two note chords. And so we get one at the start of bar eight. Now I played it thumb index. Uh, I could have just played it thumb. Quite like that actually, maybe I should have. But you can experiment and see what you think. Um, there's one little change I didn't do uh, the way I intended to do, and that's between bar 11 and 12. Where my pinky was on the fourth fret, but I needed fret six, and I should have uh, usually uh, put my uh, change to my third finger, allowing my pinky to go over. So that's something you might consider. So that's it. And here's another Dupour. Uh, a piece is called Passage in F Major on page 27. Uh, let's have a look at that. Okay, the trick is to try and play that without looking at your ukulele. I was just looking at the score. Um, it's a bit tricky at times, all the position shifts. So uh, that's uh, one of the reasons for this technique, uh, this, this piece, uh, to study it. Because um, you don't always want to be staring at your fingers. And if you could get a sense of uh, positions on the fretboard, uh, that would be great. And this piece will really help. That's it for uh, Dupor.